so we introduced um, two additional types of circuit element uh, constant phase element and the uh, Warburg element we said Warburg element is a special um, case for constant uh, phase element when the alpha exponent is 0.5 Warburg element as we said involves diffusion represents the impedance that involves diffusion so now let's look at uh, um, impedance spectrum for electrode reactions that involves diffusion that in, can be uh, emulated by introducing a verbal element so these generally are for the electrode reaction controlled by both charge transfer uh, our electrode reaction as well as diffusion in the typically electrolyte so this would be the equivalent circuit for such a electrode reaction as before we would have ohmic resistance our ohm represent the uh, re ohmic resistance contribution from the electrolyte we also have the double layer capacitor double layer capacitor representing the charge discharge process at the uh, electrode electrolyte interface representing the charge separation over there then we have RCT in the charge transfer resistance charge transfer resistance representing the electrode the charge transfer redox process and then for the this case because the we said there can be slow diffusion it can be limited so we introduce a Warburg element a constant phase element with phase shift of 0.5 to represent uh, diffusion then for such a equivalent circuit the overall impedance the overall impedance would just be the impedance for the resistor R ohm plus these are in parallel so we would write one over and then for capacitor one over capacitance would just be j omega c and then for these two the one over it would just be charge transfer one over charge transfer um resistance plus with that constant phase element uh, we said before can be written as if we write it in real and imaginary term would be sigma omega to the power of minus 0.5 times 1 minus j okay and um, if we do the mathematical manipulation for this equation and then we would have the real part the real part re or z prime r, r would just be uh, r omega plus a complicated term that we show here on the other hand the imaginary part imaginary part for this above OR impedance would just be minus this complicated um, equation okay we have the real part and imaginary part and both the real part and imaginary part uh, are function of charge transfer resistance the sigma term and omega term radio frequency as well as the um, capacitance for the double layer um, capacitor and then for the real part it also depends on the ohmic resistance ohmic resistance then let's look at some simplification the first one is when uh, radio frequency when radio frequency our frequency goes towards zero which means we are approaching dc we are approaching dc then if uh, omega goes towards zero you would see this term goes towards zero and all this all this also goes towards zero why because if you say omega square and if you times into it omega times ct that is towards zero omega and omega minus 0.5 become omega 0.5 that is also towards zero so this whole term goes towards zero this term goes towards zero the denominator is just a one so the real um, part will just be r ohm plus r c t plus sigma omega minus 0.5 okay that would be the real part when the um, omega 
the radio frequency goes towards zero when the signal approaching is approaching DC. On the other hand, the imaginary part, imaginary part would be this complicated equation. As we said before, the uh, denominator is approaching one. Denominator is approaching one, and then um, sigma omega minus 0.5 times 1 we would uh, keep it here and uh, this term the omega minus 0.5 omega 0.5 would cancel sigma square CD and then for this term if we expand it we would give another um, sigma square CD so this would be our relationship Okay, omega an imaginary part is approximately sigma omega times um, minus 0.5 plus the two sigma square CD. Okay, and it, between these two, you find that we can cancel the uh, sigma omega minus 0.5 term by adding them. So we would have imaginary would be. 2 sigma square CD plus this term which is RE minus R omega minus RCT. Okay, so this would be our relationship between imaginary part and the real part. Imaginary part and real part. And clearly this would be a straight line. Imaginary part and real part would be a straight line. And if we plot it, it will be straight line with horizontal intercept, which means when the imaginary part is zero, then the real part would be just R move to the right left, R C T move to the left, and minus two sigma square C D. Okay, a straight line, and the slope, the slope, imaginary versus R E D I m over the re would just be one the slope would just be one okay on the other hand when radio frequency omega is very large for this um electrode uh, with a Warburg element involving diffusion this term omega to the power of minus 0.5 can be neglected because omega is very large, one omi, one over omega square square root of omega is almost zero. Then the z, the impedance for this combined uh, element would just be. This is the original relationship, but then we said uh, this term, this term, the omega to the power of point minus five can be neglected. Then we are approximately we can approximate it as R ohm plus one over J omega C D plus one over R C T. And this is exactly the same as the earlier case when we said we have charge transfer controlled or limited electrode process. When there's no diffusion, when there's no diffusion limitation, we would have this relationship. Okay, then let's combine the two scenarios that involves Warburg element. The two scenarios that combines um, combines the two scenarios that involve um, diffusion. One is when we have high frequency and radio frequency, as what we said before, the um, Warburg element can be neglected. It's still charge transfer limitation, which is this relationship. On the other hand, when we um, approach very low frequency, then become mass transfer uh, limitation or diffusion limitation. So if we combine these two, we would plot the Im imaginary versus real. And of course, in minus imaginary versus real. We would have something like this curve, something like this, this dark, uh, thick black line indicates when we have mass transfer limitation, low frequency, we have a straight line with a constant slope of one or phase angle of 45, okay, or close to 45, okay. Um, on the other hand, when the 
omega is very fast we appear the semicircle we appear the semicircle that is as if we have the resistor uh, charge transfer resistor and the double layer capacitor in series plus the original uh, ohmic resistance okay and all these parameters like r ohm uh, charge transfer resistance double layer capacitance and uh, this sigma can all be obtained from the um, Nyquist plot or imaginary versus real plot. For example, the high frequency intercept would be give us the ohmic resistance R ohm, and uh, the center for this fitted semicircle would be um, R ohm plus half of RCT, while the extended um, um, and that would be R ohm plus RCT. And then the double layer capacitance can be obtained from the frequency at the highest point here, as we already said before. And then for this straight line, if we extend it all the way to imaginary equals zero, we can get the number for the um, sigma, for the sigma. And finally, if you want to exchange current density, J0, uh, you can obtain it by the charge transfer resistance using the following relationship. J0 would be RT over NF uh, charge transfer resistance, and what we showed before in chapter 3 for electrode kinetics. Okay, so now we complete the uh, impedance spectrum for an electrode reaction that involves um, both ohmic resistance from electrolyte, um, charge transfer resistance, and uh, electrode electrolyte layer, double layer capacitance, and then finally a Warburg element that involves diffusion. Okay, we said the um, it gives a relatively complex impedance that can be separated into different regions. When we have high frequency, it's limited by kinetics and it looks more like the traditional case without diffusion limitation. On the other hand, when the frequency is very low, we approach mass transfer uh, control on limitation. We approach a straight line at a 45 angle from the horizontal axis. Okay.